Hello everyone, my name is Shahir Anwar and this is my BME 325 final project for part one. So this is the derivation of the Stokes-Einstein relation for fluid flow across a sphere. Um, introducing Stokes-Einstein equation. So this is where D equals to KB times T divided by six times pi times mu times U times A. D equals to diffusion coefficient. KB equals Boltzmann's constant. T equals absolute temperature. U equals mu equals dynamic viscosity and um, A equals to radius of sphere. How is this equation derived? Part one, the Navier Stokes apart. The divergence in spherical polar coordinates equals as shown over here, and the velocity component equations are shown below. So vorticity can be formed from these components as a result, and when we square and set it equal to zero, we get the following equation. A boundary condition, which is also known as a no-slip condition, can be observed in which both radial and polar velocity components equal zero at r equals a, as you can see. So qr equals a, q theta equals a at r on r equals a. With the boundary conditions in mind, we can guess an equation phi in which the coefficients of the equation is defined by f of r. And phi r theta equals to f of r sine squared theta. F is governed by the equidimensional differential equation. And this is a fourth order PDE whose solutions are of the form F of R to the R to the N. Basically means, this means that N would be negative one, one, uh, two, and then four. As you can see over here, which is A or negative one, one, two, and four. And substituting F of R into the equation phi, we get the general solution sine squared, uh, phi equals to sine squared theta, times um, a divided by r plus b times r plus c times r squared plus d times r to the fourth. To satisfy boundary conditions at infinity and r equals a, we set d equals zero and c equals to u over u divided by two. We then solve for a and b using the velocity component equations and we get that a equals to one four w a cubed and b equals to negative three four w a. Bearing in mind the boundary conditions from earlier and the general solution for phi, we get the final equation where phi equals to w over two times by r squared plus a cubed divided by 2r minus 3a4 divided by 2 sine squared theta. W and u are the same thing in this, in this uh, demonstration. As I said, c equals to u, but it's w is what I meant. By integrating the equation for momentum, one can find the pressure being exerted on the fluid. And this is the following, this is the equation for pressure. And integrating the equation for shear stress, one can find the drag force. The following equation relates to shear stress. And carrying out the integration involving pressure first, one can find the force that the force in the z direction due to the pressure field equals to basically two pi a mu um, and u. And one can find that the force in the z direction due to viscous shear stress is um, four pi a mu and mu. And adding um, the force uh, due to the pressure field and the force due to the viscous shear stress yields the total drag force, which also gives us the Stokes, Stokes part of the Stokes-Einstein equation. And this equals to six pi. So basically, so basically we add these two, these two, the F pressure and F shear, which equates to six pi times a times mu times u. Now going on to the Einstein part, um, the mean squared displacement MSD is a measure of the derivation of position of a particle with respect to a reference position over time. The MSD at time t is defined as an ensemble average. And basically, it's um, the MSD is utilized as the displacement in the diffusion coefficient equation. So as you can see over here, this is the MSD. We express the displacement of the particle's position as an integral. U equals the velocity, and we are integrating with respect to time. Lower and upper boundaries are 0 and t, respectively. And then we plug in the displacement integral into the diffusion equation, and this is what we get. This is the following. Integral boundary and manipulation allows us to reparameterize the integral to be a function of time difference instead so that we may find the difference between t2 and t1. So this is the what we get after we reparameterize the integral. And assuming that 0 is less than t1, which is less than t2, which is less than t, the diffusion coefficient can be further simplified to the following. Finally, the diffusion coefficient equation is further simplified by rearranging the mobility equation. And if we solve and basically what we get is f equals to 1 divided by kb times t times d. And if we solve if we rearrange to solve for D, then we basically get that the diffusion coefficient equals to KB times T divided by six pi U, mu times U times A. And this is um, the derivation of the Stokes-Einstein um, equation for um, fluid that's um, uh, passing or flowing through a sphere, across sphere. Thank you.
for listening to my uh, presentation.